Uh, we're injecting our soul stabilizer today. We have our, one of our skid steers out here, which has four rods on this machine. We are pumping water plus the stabilizer, about 200 PSI today, uh, and going down to 10 feet total on this injection today. Once we go down 10 feet, we'll, we'll pull the rods back out of the ground. We'll move back two more feet and we'll start the injection process over again. And what that is, is we're going down six inches at a time. We, we set our timer. Today it's on six seconds, so six inches every six seconds as just drop after drop after drop until we get to 10 feet. And then we will bring the rods back out of the ground, move back two feet and start the whole process over until we get across the whole pad. So we are dropping it six inches uh, off the recommendations of our geotechnical report. At the bottom of the rods, we have little holes drilled in them and they go all the way around the rod 360 degrees and blows it out in a very low PSI, under 200, I believe, or right at 200. And it's just blowing this water and the stabilizer into the soil, making it expand, making it swell, so to speak. And uh, once we're done with that, then the, it will not shrink, it will not go back, it'll just stay expanded. We're doing all this before they pour the slab, and this is a more of a permanent solution. So when they do come in and pour the slab, it's, it's done. The, 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 the ground shouldn't swell. You shouldn't have any cracks in your, in your concrete after, after the, the post injections are done. And as you can see right here on the, on, on the first row that we've already you know, injected with soil stabilizer, it's already heaving up and swelling just from the first row um, right there alone. And it'll continue heaving and swelling as he works his way across the pad. Right, no, he's gonna get doing a good job of the injection. Could you tell where the glassy area is where we have it injected? It's a little bit lower. Then you come in with your first pass of water. You see how it's lifted up amongst the grass over here? It's hard to tell in the video. Then you come back with your soil stabilizer on your second pass and you see it swelling and, and activating into the ground. So that machine and that spacing on that particular lot is different. And once we get it to this state, that's the state that the ground stays in. They'll muck it off, yep. you know, spread it out. And then when they come back, you know, they do the typical foundations, you know, waffle foundation, to dig their trenches, but they're plumbing in. But he's doing a great job and that's what we want to see.